me. Yeah. You, you hurt me. Yes. When I fuck you, don't talk back. I own you. Yes. I, I own you. I'm back, okay? Because I own you. Now I love you. I fuck you, don't talk back. Uh, I'll tell you. Future. The child is the father of mine. See, see what we have? That's right. the, the talents that we have. Yes. Praise God. Yes. Absolutely great. You guys are just getting better by the day, you know? Thank God. <laughs> I just hope we bless people as much as we entertain. Oh, yes, you did. But I have a feeling that the guys would have been a bit more blessed if there were more ladies. You know, guys like to see all those. Patrick! <laughs> Come on, it's a joke. Can't you take a joke? You're but honestly, though, jokes. right there, I saw the spirit moving. So, you know what we're going to do? Make sure Misunderstanding we had in the morning. You, you're behaving like this. You left me in the room. You're lying here. Please, I'm sorry, okay? I think this is about a new car. This is not about a car. I don't need a new car. Okay, baby. What do you want, please? What do you want? I'm sorry, okay? What, what do you want? Just tell me. I want peace. Peace of mind. Just leave me alone, please. But you know I cannot leave you alone. Listen, you know I cannot leave you alone. You are my wife. How can I leave you alone? Okay? Didn't you hear the pastor preach? Your body belongs to me. I can ask for it anytime I want. Ephesians 5.22. The word that is submit, girl. Listen, listen. I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry I hurt you, okay? But you cannot deny me my marital rights. What about my right? Don't I have a right to want to be loved and pampered? That's exactly what I want to do. Little baby girl, listen to me. I, I, I want to worship you. Listen, listen, just listen, listen me again. I want to worship you, your body. Explore every aspect of your body. You know, open up my box of alabaster and pour oil on you and just. I am not having sex with you. You're not listening to me. Listen, 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 listen. You are denying me my marital rights, girl. You are. What about my rights? You, you slap me around one minute and, and you expect me to have sex with you the next. No, 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 take that. God, God knows. You're getting too tedious, and you know I, I don't like it. I hate it. I love it with a passion. You know it. I am not having sex with you, period. I'm not a whore. Says who? You are my whore. Did you hear that? You are my whore. All I want is for you to lie down on your back, and I do my business, period. Now listen, I am not even asking. You, you know what? It's like I think uh, we are having so much unnecessary talk about this issue. You know what? This is my house. I can as well have it any time, any place I want. It's my house. Okay? So, remove your clothes now. Give me, you're not listening to me. I'm done. It's okay. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on, leave me. Come on, leave me. Come on, leave me. Leave me. Okay, you want to try your clothes? Yeah, man, leave me. Come on.
They bow to me, man. They bow to me. He says, What were you doing upstairs? I knew you were doing there. Um, I was just having my glass of juice. Your fears is looking for you everywhere. He wants to make a toast. So what's stopping him? Tiramaka, what is wrong with you? This is your party. You should be enjoying it. And I am. With my glass of juice. Mom, you know I don't really like parties. So you had boy, you wanted this? No, Mom. You wanted it. But that is besides the point. There's nothing wrong with me. I'm just, I just want a little time to myself. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I'll let you be. But oh, please, don't stay too long, okay? Oh my dear Gigi, thank you, thank you for being here. Your friend is in one of our moves. We'll see if you can help talk her out of it. Okay? Not to worry, Auntie. <laughs> what is wrong with this? I'm not feeling this thing. I'm not feeling it. <laughs> I don't think I can go through with this marriage, honestly. You did great, so something is wrong with you. What are you saying? Patrick is every woman's dream. He's born again, tongue talking, spirit filled, and what else? Guy is not even a poor guy, he's comfortable. Girl, this is a good catch, and we are not going to dump it if you want to. <laughs> oh, Chidera, stop it. I'm being serious here. I should be elated, you know? I'm low. I, I just feel so low. Listen, girl. You don't feel elated. By the time both of you start doing some things, under certain things, under certain conditions, <laughs> hey, <laughs> you'll be so elated you will not want to laugh. I can't believe you're even talking about sex now. Ah, what else makes life tick? Listen, girl. Let's go down there and get your man. Because some girl catches his fancy. Come, please. Smile. This is good. By the time you start doing something, <laughs> something, I will be there. <laughs> certain things will start happening under certain things. <laughs> Why are you trying to pretend like there's nothing wrong? Something is wrong and you know it. I mean, why don't you share it with us? We're your sisters. Sister, stop it. I said there's nothing wrong, okay? Just drop it. Oh, Tega, it is obvious all is not well in the home front. Are you? Our dear husband is at it again, right? He's turned you into a punching bag. Tega, the evidence is all over you. And we do not need a rocket scientist to tell us that. Girl, you need help, and we're here to help you. You girls are really getting on my nerves, okay? Drop it. We won't. You're one wounded sister, and it's our duty as your sisters in Christ to pray with you concerning whatever is going on in your marriage. Otherwise, we'll be held accountable for not making an effort to help. And this is just drop it. Tega. Marriage is a delicate mix of two people in a relationship, completing one big picture by exchanging their strengths for the betterment of both. Abuse is not part of God's plan for women. I 
Have you finished? No, I haven't. But I have a feeling you want me to be. So I'm just going to conclude by saying that you're a strong and beautiful woman. And you need to place a value on yourself, otherwise people wouldn't. Don't treat yourself like a cheap suit. Because people will just try you on for free and charge whatever they want. Don't put yourself on a discount, girl. Come on. I am going to ignore this whole conversation. For the sake of our relationship. I mean, I don't ask much from you girls, but one thing I ask is that you should please stay out of my personal life, okay? My personal business. Do me a favor, stay out of it. things you do. Listen, listen, listen. Do not be an accuser of the brethren. I just told you to that I'm sorry. Forgive me. Maybe I've told you it's the devil's work. And I'm willing to go for counseling. All I need is just for you to, to, to say I have been forgiven. And I say, I, 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 I swear, I, I, I'll do all it takes to make you happy again. Please, baby. Because I met a wonderful man. I mean, has turned my life completely. Oh, it's Jesus. You, you take a. You take a. How dare you? How dare you talk to me about another man in your life? I am talking about Jesus Christ. Silly. I'm sorry. Can I come into the room?
ever since she gave this love to me Baby girl keeping me in luxury Like a part of me, I don't wanna leave Even if she calls or she orders me Kinda keep my mind disorderly Man, I don't know, but I'm kinda loving it You smile, and I'm like, God, please Baby girl, how you really got me? It's for sure you're my angel, sent from heaven Baby, I didn't hear you coming. How will you with all this noise? By the way, why do you have to play the music so loud? Sorry, that's actually how I work in the kitchen, especially when I'm alone. I see. Um, by the way, what are you doing at home at this time of the day? Well, I came home for lunch. I hope there's no problem with that. I hope it's ready. Wow, um, there's nothing ready yet because I, I was... I was baking cake for my friend's party this evening. I see. Bravo. Your friends now take precedence over your husband. Is that it? No, take guys, that it. Take guys, that is not, and you know it. Please, you know, all you should have just done was call me and tell me you were on your way home for lunch. I would have had your lunch ready before you got here. Oh, 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 that's it. I should call you ahead of time to inform you that I, your husband, am coming home for lunch in my own house. That's what I should do. C can you hear yourself talk? Gabriel, yeah, just stop shouting, okay? Okay, you want your lunch, fine. Just go to the sitting room, sit down, let me whip up something, okay? Just stop. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, Tega, I, I'm shouting, okay? I'm a madman, a lunatic, insane, right? And what's my offense? Simply because I came back home, asked for my lunch or my dear wife, and my dear wife now told me that I have to inform her ahead of time before I eat in my own house. Why? Because she is baking cake for her friends. <laughs> that's my plan, isn't it? No, that's it. Is that it? Get rid of can, can, can you hear yourself? Anyway, I'm sorry. Where's the cake? Eh? The cake. Okay, you can't start off with that, but don't eat more than two, okay? Because I had it counted. Well, before you're, before you're done with one. This is what my dear wife has been doing all this while, wasting her time instead of preparing lunch, baking cakes at the expense of her husband's lunch. That's all she has been doing, misplaced priority. Gabriel, shut up! Now, listen to me. I am no longer interested in that lunch. I prefer this other lunch. So remove your clothes now, straight to the bedroom. Okay, at least you do not have to prepare this one. It's already ready. I need it now. Come here, come here. Come here, leave, leave, leave. Give me, give me, give me, give me, Yeah, yeah. Ah. Hey, I see you again. Mm -hmm. Take care. Hey, thanks once again, I. See you later. Mommy. When I was growing up, 
You used to always insist that I should knock before entering people's room. I don't know what's happening with the teacher now. Take the teacher to court. Did you Maka? Yes, ma'am. Have you and Patrick fixed the date? No, and we don't intend to anytime soon. We would also really appreciate it if people stop putting undue pressure on us. Uh, I'm putting pressure on you, okay? Yes, ma'am. So it is now a crime to want the best for my daughter. Do you still remember Mrs. Fala's daughter? She's 37 and not married. Why? <sighs> because when she was younger, she was busy driving away all her suitors, all in the name of career. Now, uncle, has career been able to give her warmth that night? Oh. Has career been able to produce the cry of a baby? Mommy, please, Patrick and I have said we'll marry. Is that not enough? We're just not ready yet. Simple. Ndidi Amaka. It is not in a man's place to be ready. It is in your place. If you were serious, wouldn't you have made him ready? <laughs> Ndidi. Good men are hard to find though. <laughs> Mommy, did you read the recent census reports? To every 105 men, there are a hundred women. So you're just worrying yourself unnecessarily. We're even outnumbered. Mm. Mm. You are outnumbered. And how many of those men have good jobs? Mm. How many of those men know God? Half of your 105 men could probably be, be area boys who rob people every day. Mm. Did you, Maka, is that what you want? Patrick is... Yes, such... I know. He's all that. <sighs> but I do have to get into the bathroom now, Mom. If you don't mind. Are you asking me out of your room? thus that the lame beggar who had for several years trooped all the way from his home to the gates called beautiful managed to get his blessing his real blessing oh preach it sister preach it thank you my sister got his healing and proceeded to the temple into the holy of holies sadly I'm sorry to say, such is the case with many of us inside this church. We have people who go through many years of marriage without reaping the bliss that comes with it. The glory that God has called us to. Amen. Our businesses, our businesses were content with crumbs, with mere losses even in the name of prophets. Many of us here, some of us, have worked for over 20 years, 20 years, 2-2, two, two, 20 years, yes. no promotion. Why? Well, I have decreed that today, all that must stop. Yeah. And on a very, very serious note, let us not lose sight of the fact that the Lord is our healer. He is the God that heals us. What are we doing at the gate? Lay down your troubles at his feet. What is it? What is it that troubles you? Is it your marriage? life, your education, your work, your business, you said your come to him and he, and he will take away all your burdens, your tears, your sorrows, you all 
all that have hampered you, all that have kept you at the gate called beautiful. All right, so I want you to take care of the youth workers meeting. And, uh, ah, Sister Tega. Okay, so I'll see you later. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you? Fine, sir. Good. I will see you at the party. Okay, thank you. Have a nice day. Bye bye. Sister Tega, are you okay? You don't look very fine to me. Pastor Kim, I, I have to see you. I have to come to your office to see you. It's very important, sir. No, you can't talk here. He has fine. I don't know where to start. It's oh. a long story. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Wow. Oh, Brother Pastor, Gabriel. Pastor, that was a wonderful message. That was something else. You know, Pastor, do you know that the unction was there? I could feel the anointing. You know, it was just dripping. Good oh, good afternoon. How are you? Ah, remain blessed. <laughs> uh, uh, Pastor, they say when God wants to bless a people, he sends them a man. You are God sent. You are well. God sent in it. Do you know that, Pastor, when you were preaching, when you're talking about the beautiful gate and the temple, I saw myself in that message. I said God was just talking to me. He was talking through you to me. And I said, thank you, Father. Because, Pastor, for 15 years, I've been working in my establishment, waiting for promotion as the AGM to general manager. But these people have delayed my promotion. So the moment you mention the beautiful gate and the temple, I said to myself, this year I am stepping into Amen the temple. Amen to that. Amen and to that. So guess what? When I step into the temple and become the general manager, guess what? I will relocate this church to any choice area in this town. Amen to that. God bless you. Bless you, you too. You, you are indeed a blessing. Uh, uh, actually, I, I, I wish we could just talk, but you see, uh, we have an appointment, important appointment. Maybe we'll make our time and uh, come and see. Uh, honey, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. yeah, yes, we'll have an important appointment. So we'll see you, Pastor. No, no, no problem whatsoever. God bless you so much. Have a blessed week. Bless you too, Pastor. Bless you God too. bless you. Hello, Pastor. Ah, Sister Bimbo. Hi, Pastor. How are you? I'm very fine, thank you. Ah, bless Hi. you too. Thank you, Pastor. Um, Pastor, the message you gave in that church was just so moving that I couldn't contain myself. Yes, Pastor, ah. it was really awesome. Thank you very much. Oh, Thank I you. I hope I didn't embarrass you with all the screaming I was doing in the church. No, 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 not at all, not at all. You see, um, that wasn't me preaching. That was the Holy Spirit preaching through me. So you actually reacted to the Holy Spirit. Uh, hallelujah. <laughs> the Lord oh couldn't God. have chosen a better person to lead us. Yeah. I mean, you're just so awesome. <laughs> uh, thank you. Thank you very much. Um, Pastor, well, please, can I hitch a ride with you when you're leaving? I have a huge burden in my heart that I have to discuss with you, if you don't mind. I tell you what. Why don't you see the secretary and book an appointment with her? I mean, she's in there. She's ready to listen to everything. Um, whatever appointment. Can, appointment I just, can I go with you now? Yes, I'd love to. But the, the thing is, I have a very pressing appointment at the moment. So... Uh, just see the secretary. She will attend to you appropriately. Okay? okay? Right. You two have a blessed week. Oh, thank you, Pastor. All right, then. Bye-bye. <laughs> Stay Pastor. blessed, eh? Yes, Pastor. Bye -bye. <laughs> what is funny? <laughs> what is the cause of your laughter? <laughs> oh, my God. Your desperate move to capture the pastor in your net. Unfortunately for you, girl, it's not working. Huh? Can't you leave this man in? Can't you see he's not interested? He will soon be. As soon as the Holy Spirit reveals to him that I am his wife to be. Just as the Spirit has revealed to me that he is my husband, okay? Well, have you ever heard of the term familiar spirits? So what about it? You know, evil spirits roam the earth looking for people like you. Satan, I rebuke you in Jesus' name. Kathy, I rebuke you. Look, don't just come here and come and spoil things for me with your bad belly. Have you heard? Look, let me tell you something, eh, Kathy? I mean, the only reason why Pastor Ken is not taking much notice of me or any other woman in this church is because I believe he's still clinging to the memory of his late wife. And the Holy Spirit has revealed to me that I am the one that's going to bring him out of that misery. Yeah, Pastor Ken, we're going to get married in this church and there's nothing anybody's going to do about it. One of you should just watch and see. Sister Bimbo, yes? I think you need deliverance. Really? You're the one that needs deliverance. I hope you're not the one that fired evil spirit for that poor woman to die so that you could take her place. You are mad. Uh -huh. Because this one, you're so... Mm. You're crazy. And if not I were in this church, I would have slapped the shit out of you. Whatever. Your face. I bet get out. <laughs> Any drinks? Uh, chapel, please. Same here. Apple juice is good, thank you. 
So, how was your day? Did you seal the dynamo contract? Oh, not yet, baby. But we're this close. And trust me, when that deal is sealed, all my troubles will be over. Amen. Uh, except one. And that would be? You. To have you utterly and completely to myself. <laughs> you know, there's this new girl that just joined my group. Wonderful choreographer. I mean, the girl wriggles her body like she has no bones. Oh, come on, NDD. You know, nobody wriggles better than you. <laughs> really? <laughs> You're simply the best. Thank you. <laughs> When are you going back? Uh, actually, I'm not going back. I'll probably be here for a very long time. And guess what? You and I can become great buddies, huh? Don't so count on it. Uh, LDI here is my only and best friend. You know, I'm a really busy person. I just, um, church, work, all that, so don't count on it. <laughs> well, well, I am. Um, I hope you wouldn't need to see a counselor because it's quite strange to just have one friend. Guys, guys, can we just enjoy this outing in peace? The meal is not here yet, my dear. Hey, babe, what's up? Yeah, how are you doing? I want us to have dinner tonight. Dance classes again. I thought you had lesson tears today. Well, it's just I'm tired of never getting to see you anymore. I hope you're not going somewhere with that friend of yours. Okay, all right, all right. Have a great day. Bye. -bye. My wife. Girlfriend. I thought you said this had nothing to do with him. So what's he doing here? Patrick, please. This is God's house. Everyone is welcome here, including him. How was your day? Hectic. I had a marathon session with my boss. Meeting just kept going on. In fact, these days, the guy just seems to be permanently on my neck. Ah. Oh. Unbelievable. Don't worry. <laughs> hmm? The grace of God will see all of us. Amen. <laughs> so, where are you taking me to? Well, I go to Greenland. It's a new Chinese restaurant. I hear the food is absolutely marvelous. Hmm. And okay. I have to change my clothes first, so we have to get to my house. Okay. Well, it's sanitation. My mother has helped. I decided to come clean with my baby. Maybe I won't cook you a meal. So you see, I'm not as bad as you think after all. But Did you sleep well? Uh, yes. Uh, what I... would you like to eat? Don't just stand there. Come on. Wait, wait. I still am in shock. Did your come mother on, talk to you? Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Patrick, stop it. You know, I don't believe in such nonsense. What? I can't even kiss my own fiance. Patrick, you know you will want to stop at kissing. We have decided to wait and wait we will. I can't wait anymore. Look, GD, the thoughts of the things I'll do to you when we get married turns me on. Brother Patrick! Jesus! Lord of 
Jesus, but please. Yes, that same blood flows in my veins. You know what? Let's just work compromise, okay? I'll just hold you for a short while. That's all. Patrick, stop it! Stop it! Stop it! You complained this relationship was not going well. I only came here to improve things. Please, please, please don't drive me away. Whatever it is, just check it. Jesus, Patrick, you are head of the Singles Fellowship. You of all people should know better than to give in to temptation. What is wrong with you? <sighs> okay, okay, sister and Didi. I'm sorry. It's all right. So, what are you making for us? Why do you have to be so silly? I don't know, I'll just throw things together and if you don't like it, you will have to eat it for love. What the I throw goes off. Yeah, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Why not take some things like this? It was difficult having something to eat. Really? You have a good smile. Yeah, you didn't feel like I just keep looking. Uh, run each other for some. Look on. Look on. <laughs> Can I do without you? <laughs> Nothing. Nash me a car. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> See, there's nothing. Just ask me a car. Okay, I'll just take, take, take it out. Take it out. Whatever you are. Uh, what, 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 what else? You and I, um, across the ocean, um, on a boat cruise. Mm. Yeah, yeah, you. I don't know mm -hmm. how it was good, right? Belongs in the fold of God. Oh, yes. And I'm telling you right now, all you have to do is believe. 
and theology. Yes. Ponder on that. Brother Mark, over to you. Can we have a short prayer, please? Give you all the glory. Give you all the See, honestly, the principles are all in the Bible. You know, basically, yeah, when you get this thing right, you see, in the, the uh, rather than take a, you see, here, it is, and when the day of Pentecost was full come, oh, they're all, all right, take care. Right, then take care. One place. Yeah. Now, they came together in one place, in a lone place, so that they could get the visibility of God. Patrick, hi, um, I need to take an ET somewhere. We're going to the theatre. We'll have a meeting. I think we'll see you I'll see you later. Yeah. Bye. Uh, so, uh, uh. the thing is that the, um, the, the way is when the, when the day of Pentecost was fully come, yeah. They, uh, they were all in one accord. Yeah. And they went. That's it. That's the story of my life. I have to say something. I can't go to live up anymore. I just have to tell someone before I, I go completely nuts. Just take her. You're right. I mean, a problem shared is a problem solved. I must have done something wrong. I just don't know what it is right now. Because I did everything. I went the Christian way. And got married a virgin to a supposed to be book. Where did I go wrong? What exactly did I do wrong? I, I must have done something, but I don't know what it is. I don't have any answers. But the one thing I know is that all things, all things work together for good for those who love God. I can't take this anymore. I mean, my life is a shame. I am living in life. My husband is a fake. And I know I'm the most miserable woman alive. I don't know what to do. No man has any right to treat a woman like this. If it is me, I will not take this rubbish. You see this nonsense? Hey, I will not take it at all. I will have left him since like yesterday. Chidera. Mm. Sega, what are you waiting for? Aren't you considering divorce? I, I have thought about it, but you know, as Christians, we, we should. I beg! I beg! Leave Christianity out of this. Christianity does not mean foolishness. Divorce the bagger! Chidera. Ah! Sega, divorce that, that bagger! Isn't that a bit extreme? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. It is not. As Tega here said, the way he treats her, even a dog cannot be treated that way. Yes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Tega. No wonder. Take a very good look at Tega. You, take a very good look at yourself. You're like a shadow of yourself. Physical abuse is not to be tolerated anymore. Tega, divorce the bagger. Divorce him before he kills you. I know the Bible says we can divorce some kind of sexual immorality. I, I haven't seen it with any woman. You know, the signs are there, but I just, I haven't seen it. Which is why I'm confused and I don't know what to do. I say we take it to God in prayer. I have been taking it to God in prayer. But it seems God is on vacation where I am concerned. No. God does not go on vacation. He said he will be there for those who believe in him. Let us pray. Jesus. Lord. I my friend to your hands, Lord. You said that we should come to you because that are weak and are heavy laden, and you would give us rest and bring my friend to your throne of mercy, Lord.
I come meet my friend to you know, and I pray that you comfort her, Lord. You will give her peace, Lord. Mm -hmm. It doesn't like ice cream in this whole world. Mm. Mm. That's until you discover another passion, Abby. Do you want to go? Thanks. I have dance lessons in the evening. I can't afford to eat. Yeah. Let me see. The ice cream tastes great. Wait, wait. So, did you call me here to talk about ice cream? Oh, no. Patrick called me. So? He said he no longer sees you and that you spend all your time with the So? So? What do you mean, so? So what are you talking about now? Meaning that you should spend some more time with him? Girl... I know how close yourself and Anete are. I mean, I know how close you both have always been. But through the line, Patrick is the boyfriend. In fact, the fiancé. Anete is the best friend. Do not allow a third party to jeopardize your relationship. I mean, it's never worth it. Hey, Chidera. Hmm? Hey. Since when you became the relationship expert, I don't know. But frankly, I am sick and tired of everyone breathing down my neck about Anieti. I've known this boy all my life now. He's seen me through everything I have been through. He could have been a girl. In short, I wish we were a girl. That way everyone would stop being so silly and leave us alone. Now you know the best part? Mm -mm. In all my years of knowing him, he has never even tried to kiss me or hold my hand one second longer than necessary. Which is more than I can say for every other guy I've known, spirit filled or not. Yeah. Oh, do you know why? That is because he sees you as a sister. You know what they always say? There's a male hero in every woman's life. But when she gets married, the hero becomes a husband. But I'm not married yet now. And it's not as if I'm having picnics or dinner with Anieti. It's work for crying out loud. The guy is starting a dance troupe and naturally, I am helping him. He's even using some of my girls. So what are you talking about? Anyway, just be careful, Sha. You know. Besides, give me a nitty now. Eh? Give him Good to me. <laughs> give him to Am me. Am I holding him? Because me, I have to get married this year. Either to cook or hook. That doesn't sound very godly, Chidera. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, yo. Oh. Holy indeed, <laughs> <laughs> Boy, I really don't get it. I, don't, I do not get it. How can you people survive in a place like that? It's noisy, has lots of irresponsible people. It's, it's, it's crazy. That's how we enjoy it. Man! Bro, don't you ever, ever invite me to the club again. Come I'm on. I'm telling you, don't not, you ever do that. Not all of us get our highs from Christ. I mean, I'm sorry though, I... Invited you to a congregation of sinners. Oh yeah, let's say that again. <laughs> Lots of sinners. <laughs> Boy! <clears throat> How, as you grow up, your love and passion for Christ goes down. I mean, it was way back in secondary school days. And I found myself in a place like that. I would have climbed up the stage and screamed the word of God to the people. You do that, man. And you'll be bounced out by those hefty looking men at the gate. Well, the better, man. <laughs> and as you're bundling me out, I'll be spreading the word to them. Giving it to them, man. <laughs> Touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. Anointed. Oh, brother, you need to change your life. Oh, man. Anointed and yet here. <laughs> no, seriously. Seriously, don't you ever, ever invite me to God again. I mean, it's not a place suitable for my kind. Your kind? Yes, my kind. How about the soap? How was that the holy sister we met at the nightclub for the king with sinners? Is that your kind? That's pretty sad. But you know, she's just fulfilling what the word of God says. Many are called, if you are chosen. I just happen to be one of the chosen few. Pastor <laughs> Aniti. <laughs> oh Pastor boy, I've had Anita. enough noise to last me a year. Jesus. Tell me there's not a fixed time to come visit. Please, it's a Monday morning. I am late for work. What's up? Anyway, I, I came to report myself before I need to go. 
tell me you made a pass at him, please. No. I am too expensive. I mean, I'm not so cheap. Okay, fine, fine. I ran into him in a club yesterday. Before you get too judgmental on me, I was bored. I had nowhere to go to. And besides, what's one going to a club anyways? God, I will never understand human beings. You are the one that came to me, that you went to club. Now you're asking me what's wrong in going to a club. Why are you feeling guilty? Because of people like you, who act so holier than thou, and make the rest of us feel like we're going to go to hell the next day. Come on, girl. You think it's easy for me? I mean, I haven't had a boyfriend in three years. And there are not enough guys in church to go around. Guess what? I started searching outside. Shudera. Okay. Okay. I don't want to die an old maid. Shudera. <laughs> oh, laugh. <laughs> Please laugh. Hi. You don't have any problem. I mean, you have a guy that all the girls in church will give their right hand for. Really? And on the other hand, you have another guy who worships the ground you walk on. Hey, really? Don't make fun of me and don't you even dare judge me. You're the world cop at the Hague here. You're the one doing all the judging. Anyway. The only thing I have to say to you is W. WJD. Remember that stuff we used to wear on our wrists in secondary school? Oh. What would Jesus do? The next time you go out clubbing or you get unequally yoked with an unbeliever in the name of dating, think about it. What would Jesus do? Yeah. Let that be your yardstick. <laughs> oh. Anyway, I have to go to work. Some of us work to earn a living, you know. <laughs> Please remind me that See I See you in the work. evening. Lady. Hey, I can't visit you. You can't leave me here. Wow. Okay. Wow. This <laughs> place is something else. Is it? Is it not too big? I don't know. I don't think so. You know, um, I'll just use a section of the place to leave in, and the rest will be like um, a workstation. Doing Yahoo in Australia. <laughs> <laughs> really? Because this place is really big. <laughs> no, no, come on, you've been away for three years. Mm -hmm. Just three years. Are you already this wealthy? Look at me now. I've been, I've been working for those same three years. Hey, I can't even afford a car. I wasn't into any form of fraud. God forbid. Come on. I worked my ass off. Morning, noon, night. And what's more, I'm one of those who believe that. My God owns the world. You know? I mean, if my God owns the world, then there's no place for poverty in my life. That's it. So I'm ready to live large, my girl. So, when do you start um, decorating? So, I'm the one who hasn't got great face, right? No, 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 that's not what I'm saying. <laughs> now, what I'm saying is, some churches preach Prosperity. They preach you can always achieve it when you believe in it. They preach being large, prospering in the world. And um, it's just like you having a plane. And it's like you believing you want a plane. You pray to God, you believe on God's word that He's going to give you that plane. Believe me, girl, God's word will always be true. And it will happen. But some churches believe in, you know, being content with what you have. Don't ask for too much. Just be there. Be normal. Two shoes in a year or the rest of your life is just fine. <laughs> and trust me, that's how it's going to be for them. <laughs> now, none of them is wrong. The choice is yours to make. I choose prosperity. That's what I'm living. Prosperity. Because I believe that's God's word for my life. You get it? Well, um... I think you should get professional help. This place is a little too much for me. I don't think I can handle it. That's what I'm talking about. You have to try and try and try again. This attitude of, I don't think I can do this. I don't think I can handle this. Oh, this is too big for me. That makes us small. I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. All things, not some things, all things. 
My dear! It's so funny how religious we can be. They go to church seven times a week. We, we read the Bible at every slight opportunity. We preach the word all the time like the world is going to end tomorrow. Yet when we are faced with a challenge, like it just comes before us, we just chill to the Bible. We forget God's word. Negative thoughts and things begin to come into our minds. We become very pessimistic. And the devil defeats us. But my dear, that is not the attitude. When you're faced with a challenge, you look at the challenge in the face and you say, you know what? My God is bigger than you. Because his words have said, I will overcome. And baby, you will overcome. Place your faith on the word. Now you've been given a house. Decorate this house. You say, yes, my God can handle this house. My God will give me the energy because I'm going to call Chidera and Chidera is going to help me. I'm going to give a budget to Brother Nieti and Anetia is going to pay me and I'm going to make myself some good money. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Yes. <laughs> I, I begin to feel like a pastor here, you know. I think I can preach real good. <laughs> at least I can certainly preach better than that Brother Patrick. Anetia. Hmm? I'm just going to let that slide, okay? <laughs> oh really, you haven't changed at all. Eh? No, but, but that's the truth, girl. Work on the word of God. You can do this. I can do it. No, I can do it. 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 That's the spirit, baby. <laughs> that's the spirit. <laughs> so yeah, let me see your proposal if it's good, then you know what we I don't know. That's the um, visitor's toilet. Hmm? Good. And um, I'll probably show this to you. We're gonna have the store here. At this point, gonna open the store. Almost to ten, so uh, tell me exactly where you're coming from and cut that crap of telling me you're coming back from evening service because that's a lie from the bottomless pit. You know it. And so, Gabriel, what's your point? What are you insinuating? That the woman who dresses like this out of her husband's house, looking so beautiful like this, has an agenda. I'm suspecting you're having an eye for the pastor. Tega, that's why you take out extra time to dress before going to church. Now tell me. What do you get up? I mean, the, the kind of things that keep popping out of your mouth is very annoying. Okay. And I will not give you the luxury of even discussing it. Uh oh, oh. Because what is Meaning what? Oh, no, come on, come on. Come on, come, come on with it. Meaning I'm not, right? I'm crazy. I've got, I'm a lunatic. I'm insane, right? Is, is that it? Come on, talk to me. Two fits. How dare you? How, 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 how dare you? I'm saying that. You just exposed my prophecy to the entire world. No, no, let me tell you something. Give it up. Give it up. Give it up. Stop what? You want to show it off to them, right? No. Ow. Come on. I'll pull it up. Get your hands off me.
Let you let you drive his car. Mm -hmm. This big car. Hey. I think that guy is heavily loaded. And it wouldn't be a bad idea if I turned all my attention on him. Chidera. Come on. He let you drive this car. Hey. Patrick is going to go crazy. Why? Because my friend let me drive his car. Let me give you the real gist. Anita is out for about a week. He had to go to Abuja to do some things. But guess what, baby? What? This chick has the keys to the car and the keys to his apartment for as long as he's out. Hey! Patrick, don't die. Hmm. Patrick is dead already now. What? Hmm. Come. What will your mom say? Look at my mom. I can handle my mom now. Meanwhile. We have a job to finish his apartment before he comes back. So just cancel all your dates. My dear, talking about dates. Eh? Chidera, me Chidera. It's only married men that are on my case. I'm worried. I don't know what to do. Chidera. Forgive me if I'm going to sound holier than thou, AK. But take a look at what you're wearing. See how you're dressed. I don't think this is particularly going to attract any decent young men. Look at yourself, Chidera. Thank you very much. It was you who said you wanted to go and watch the movies. I decided to look good so we don't feel out of place. Now, what are you saying? Chidera, it doesn't matter what everyone else is wearing to the movies. You should always try to do your own things, like the Christian that you are supposed to be. What have you been up to all day? Thank you very much for changing the topic. I went to the market with my mother today. On my way to the market, there's this guy. My point exactly. Today is Monday, the first day of the week. And a 27 year old girl goes to the market for her mom? Come on, you should be at work. Men like independent women. Women who can stand their own. It's a tough world out there, oh. Nobody wants any liabilities. So first things first, girlfriend. Get a job. Start a business. Do something. Stop all this gra, -gra. Stop depending on guys for money. And then we can take it from there. Didi, you're right. Didi, you have a point. You're very correct. For the very first time, you've made sense. You're right. Before all these guys will insult someone, before they will insult Chidera, a woman has to have something she's doing. Hey, hey, God. God, please help me. Let me not end up like Tega. <laughs> I've not told you. <laughs> I actually helped Tega move out of her husband's house yesterday. She no, she, on her insistence, so she begged me to help her, and I helped her. Before he would kill her in the house now. Jesus. Jesus. I was hoping it won't get to this. Oh, God. She there. The devil is really at work. And we must not let him succeed. We must not. The devil is at work. You're right. And we must not let him. Let me get dressed. Come and change this, please. Uh -uh. You're not going out with me looking like this. Look what I'm wearing. Come and change. But I'm hot. I'm hot like me.
leave your team. You took my home and all that. I will not leave your team. Baker, that is truly my mind. I am not leaving this place. Father, you said we should ask. And then we will receive. And when I say, I am asking, please tell me where I have gone wrong. Sister Tega. Sister Tega, what, what are you doing here? It's, it's past 11. I can't take it anymore. Once again, I, I've been trying to talk to you. Gabriel is not what he portrays in the church. He's not. Okay. He, he beats me. He, he's a bastard woman. I, I'm afraid he will kill me one day. The other day. Please, because it's I, I, I was here for, for the midweek service. He, he, he tore a dress off my body. And, and, and I, I took my bag. I went to the general house. Okay. When I knew the first place, he would look for me. And I just, I came to my court. I am asking him questions. I'm not here. Can you answer me? You, Deacon Gabriel. <laughs> I'm going to call him right now. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. 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 Wait, it's okay. It's okay. Um wait on the Lord to answer me. Look, Indidi, I demand an explanation right now. What is it? Explanation for what? No, 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 go ahead, get out. What is it? You can't believe this. You're coming at me with attitude. You practically live in his house. You drive his car around town. The whole church knows about this, and they're talking about it, and you stand here like you don't know what I'm talking about. If I was living in his house, why didn't you go and look for me oh, then? Oh, oh, no, 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 tell me, why did you not go and look for me in his yes, house? yes, I did. I went there. And God is on your side. Because if I had seen you in his house, the God who made me, I would have strangled him. Violence, my dear, is not a very Christian attribute. Because if you start to think violently, you will start to act violently. What is the name of this nonsense? I mean, how can you, how can you be so calm? How, you see me sitting there, I'm in anger, and you're calmly talking to me like a child. Because you just acted like one. What did you expect me to do? Match your anger. We will only succeed in bringing down the roof. Patrick, Anite is out of town. Cheater and I have a job to furnish his apartment. I mean, if the boy succeeds at what he went for, then that would be the big break I have been looking for. I have tried, I have honestly tried to pull you along, but every time I mention his name, you threaten Blue Murder. That's because you spend so much time with him. <sighs> He's a man, and you are a very beautiful woman. I don't want anything to come from that. Patrick, that is exactly my point. The fact that you have a carnal mind does not mean everyone else does. God, and yet he doesn't see me like a sex object waiting to be devoured. He just sees me as his friend, and it is simple. I mean, I could have had two homes on my head, and the boy wouldn't even notice. Then he must be gay. In fact, I hope he's gay. Come on. How could any real man look at you? I might just want a little bit of that. Why are you so shallow sometimes? God! What is, what is, what is this thing about sex anyway? If we get married, aren't we going to be having sex for the rest of our lives? What is sex? Sex! sex. <sighs> oh. Uh, so, now it has become, if we get married. <laughs> Let me explain something to you. Right. I'm going to get married to you, even if I have to drag you all the way to the altar. God. Huh. I'm really beginning to dislike you. God. And I'm loving you more every second. Look, NDI. 
I love the way we used to be. Can we go back to just how we used to be in the beginning? I don't want anyone to take my place. Patrick, nobody is taking your place. Really? Yes. I'm, I'm, I'm just very involved with work at the moment. I mean, look at me, Patrick. I'm 26. This is not where I thought I would be four years after university. I mean, I'm, I'm trying to achieve all that I can in this one year. Please. What can be a great achievement than marriage? Tell me. Come on, honey. Let's get married and start a family. Now, that will be an achievement. Patrick, please, please. If you're looking for a fight, I don't even have it in me to fight anymore. I'm just not ready for marriage. Not just yet. Good morning, Tega. How are you? I'm fine, thank yes. you. How was your night? Hope you slept well. Oh yes. Thanks be to God I slept like a baby. Tell me, Sister Tega, what do you do for relaxation on Saturdays? <laughs> Nothing, I just stay in the house. Even though Gabriel thinks that's very boring. No, I don't think find it boring at all. Actually, I like to uh, spend my Saturdays relaxing at home as well. You know, watching movies, playing games. Incidentally, my wife used to think it was boring as well. But I think spending time relaxing at home makes you feel free to be yourself. Well, I could whip up some snack, even <laughs> I don't know what it is right now, but whip up something. I mean, after cleaning, we'll watch a movie if you want. Oh, that's great. And I'll go out and, there's a rental shop just down the road, I'll just get some movies from there. You rent? No, but they sell as well. <laughs> you should buy. <laughs> okay, I'll buy. But you choose, I'll choose one title, you choose the other one. Okay. Okay? okay. All right, I'll be off. Hello. Hello, Sister Bimbo Morning. How can I help you? Mrs. Mrs. Omoife. Do you not work here? <laughs> yes, Sister Bimbo. And what's with the Mrs. Omoife? You've always called me Tega. I'm very sorry about that. But, um, let's see what's some kind of just like that. Is it true that you've left your husband? Or that you're divorced or separated or something? <laughs> Sister Bimbo. Yes? I will not discuss my personal life with you or anyone else. I was just trying to, you know. So like I asked earlier on, how can I help you? Well, I would like to see my past. You know, past again. One moment, please. Excuse me. Oh, on a serious note, do you really think it's a wise idea for you to be working with a single pastor? You know, working here with the pastor, knowing fully well that he is single. People might start reading meanings to that, you know. Sister Bimbo. Yes? I will advise you mind your business. I'm sorry. You know, you don't need to get your hackles up. I was just trying to look out for a sister. Because people will start saying nobody told you. Sister Bimbo. Drop it. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to offend you. Sorry. Pastor, um, Sister Bimbo is here to see you, sir. Okay, Pastor. Pastor K will see you right away. Thanks, Tega. You're very efficient. 
Um, I'll be sure to mention that to the pastor when I see him, okay? to commune with God. Why are you asking me that? I already told you that I am not going to tell you where I am, so stop asking me that. Fine. Look. It's okay. Just take it easy, okay? That's okay, Nani. I'm really sorry. But, you see, the, the Gabriel I married, and the Gabriel I've been living with her, two, two different people. And I am really trying, I am really trying to marry the two, and I can't. This is not a girl, it's okay. What's the reason why you're here? To pray over your marriage, isn't it? Listen, just be strong. Everything will be okay. God takes over from where you fail. Don't lose hope. Okay? This is temporal. Be strong. Even if you're weak, God takes over. Your weakness. Is It's okay, it's okay. If you think you're going to use me and dump me, then you better have everything. What do you take me for? Come on, come on, children. Listen, there's no need shouting or making a scene out of this. See, we are through. 
uh, if I were you, I'll live with my dignity intact. What dignity? <sighs> Gabriel, Gabriel, you promised to marry me as soon as she leaves the house. What are you now saying? Oh, come on, Chidera, listen. You don't believe everything you hear in the heat of passion. Girl, I love my wife and I am not ready to divorce her. That simple. She just don't tell me that. Gabriel, don't you tell me that. You said she was dull and unexciting. What game are you playing? Chidera, Chidera, you are smarter than this. You are, you are smarter. Look, I am a man. And like all men, I'll say whatever I want to say to get what I want. Don't you understand? Now, I need my wife. And I know you know where my wife is. You are so sick. You're even sicker than I thought. Go to hell, rock in hell, and die there. Oh no, listen, 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 listen. We are all in it together. We are both sinners. Can't you see it? We are both sinners. I'm the man of my dreams. And you? You're nowhere near him. Oh, congratulations. Congratulations. Well, you see, time is running out. I need to go find my wife. So, please, uh, why don't you just leave my house? Give me a God will punish you. God will punish you. You are using that person. No, no, listen, baby. Don't get holy on me. If we are two of a kind, we say what we want to get. What we want, simple. It's okay. Au revoir. So you want me to go? I need to go find my wife. My door is quite open. I'm happy to be seen. Bye bye. Au revoir. I'm happy to be seen. So where is she? Who? Oh no, 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 with due respect, Pastor, can cut that crap and produce my wife. Otherwise, your name, I mean our name, will be selling the papers tomorrow. How dare you? How dare you kidnap my wife and have her here? How? You know what I think? Pastors like you are giving the church a bad name. Look at you. Look at you. All the time preaching about the sanctity of marriage. Marriage is a wonderful vow. It's a sacred vow. Constantly identify with the holiness of marriage. Do not desecrate it. Yet you are indulging in the same act that you have righteously condemned. You know what? Hell will not be even good enough for the likes of you. Look, um, Deacon Gabriel, I assure you, you have the completely wrong picture about all this. Oh, no, 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 no. Listen, by the time I set eyes on that pretending wife of mine, you will know whether I've got the right picture or the wrong picture. Do you understand me? What is good? <laughs> you can't talk again, right? You can't. You can't. <laughs> Suddenly, God caught your tongue, girl. I told you, didn't I? I told you, nothing hides under the sun, my dear cheating wife. So, this is what you have been doing all this while, Tega. Sleeping with your pastor. Jesus Christ. Take Tega, how could you embark on such a sacrilegious act, Tega? Okay. I'm asking you. This might come as a shock to you, Gab. But some of us still believe in our marriage vows. Oh, you shut up. You even have the effrontery to be to get so cheeky at me, you do? How dare you? It's okay. This is exactly the reason I left you. Look, okay, Gab, why don't you just go home before you embarrass yourself any further? Just now, go home. Now, let me tell you something. I am not leaving this place without you. 
Read my lips. I am not leaving this place. Well, I am not going anywhere with you. Because I took this time out, this, this private time to pray about us. Because obviously there's a problem. And, and you need deliverance and I'm asking God. I am praying no, for no, 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 no. You, you are the one who needs deliverance. You and the pastor. Deliverance from fornication, adultery. You name it. You name it. You need deliverance. What will Jesus do? Do not talk to me about Jesus. I will talk about Jesus Christ. Didn't you even imagine him bleeding on the cross right before embarking on this sacrilegious act, both of you? Didn't you think about the faith that he professed? Stop! Go! Or what will happen? I'm not going without you. Go! Okay. No, excuse me! Go away! Pastor, 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 excuse me! No, Dika, just, just listen I, to me. I, I don't want out. She, she must go with me. That's us Excuse me! So, what are we talking about? Let us talk. We Let can't say anything without my wife. It's still very hot tempered. Let us talk about this. Well, can, can I ask you a question? Do you have a wife? No, no, no. Have you been married before? Now just imagine your wife is being happened in another man's house. A single man, a pastor, and you tell me to leave her. Excuse I'm me. I'm asking you. Let us talk. We are not talking about anything. Okay, I see. I see. I see. I see. Oh, you, you, you don't want to let her be, right? You don't want to. I'll be back. But Gabriel. tell you what, it's going to be a different scenario altogether. You want to stay here? I'm coming. Gabriel. Deacon Gabriel. Don't Gabriel me. I'm not done with you people yet. It's okay. It's okay. Go, just go inside. Hey. It's okay. <sighs> Father. We've come before you. We present our brother Gabriel before you to send your angels, your angel Gabriel, Michael, to go unto him and minister unto him and root out that demon spirit that is entrenched in him. Father, we ask you to send your Holy Spirit to arrest him, to arrest his spirit and his soul and loose him from the shackles of the devil mm -hmm. you demon spirits we come against you in the name of the blood of most high Amen. the lord of hosts we Amen. come against you Amen. and so lose your hold Amen. we ask you to lose your hold Amen. you demon spirit to Loose him from your shackles right now in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you because only you. Father, I bring my husband up to you because you said that whatever he kept in your hands is safe for eternity. Father, Jehovah listen to Jehovah Jireh. I should die for the Lord. You are the only God I know. But I cannot take my birth into anyone else. Father, I lift up your name because you would. Oh, Father, I give you thanks. Father Lord, I give you praise. I glorify your give name, you God. I exalt mm. your name for answering prayers because mm. you say whatever is mm. loose on earth is loose ah. on earth. God of heaven, are you sure about what you just said? Pastor, I'm telling you I caught them red-handed. Jesus. Well, uh... If I can't see him tonight, then uh, it will be first thing tomorrow morning. Have to rush for our prison administration. Okay, Pastor. God. All right, thank you. All right, Pastor. Yeah. Pastor Saki, I expect you know better than to spread unfounded rumors. Pastor Ken, you have not denied anything. Are you keeping a married woman in your house? I mean the wife of a deacon in your church. Why am I being put on trial here? Is it because I'm trying to help a young woman get her life back together? Like I'm asked to by God? But she is separated from her husband. And you very well know what the Bible says consigning divorce. Listen, are you not bothered about what people are saying? People will say whatever they want to say. The most important thing is to do the right thing. And that is what the Bible compels me to. We are pastors. And for that, we should be very careful about what we do. The Bible says we should flee temptations and all its appearances. Pastor Osagie. 
Let people judge me by my actions and not based on unfounded rumors flying all over the place. My God knows that I am right and he will vindicate me. Well, uh, I still have uh, not finished this sermon I'm preparing, so. Well, it's okay. Uh, just doing my job. It's well known, sir. Thank you. I want to thank you for making today a miserable free day for me. I'd have spent today wondering what my wife and I would have been doing today on this special day. Thank you. You must really love her. Miss, I can see that you, you miss her a lot. I do. My wife was the only woman I ever loved. She was my soulmate. She completed me in every sense of the word. You know, for a long while after her death, I never stopped wondering why it happened. But I had to come to the conclusion that all things work together for good to them that love God. Amen. Well, I, I don't want to dwell on anything that makes you sad, especially not today. That's your birthday. So I want to talk about the things that make you happy. Okay? Yes. Uh, one of them is this wonderful meal that you've prepared for me. <laughs> you are a most wonderful and beautiful lady. And you are blessed amongst women. Never forget that. Thank you once again for this. Is that what's on me? How you do it, I don't know. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. at this moment. You should be thoroughly ashamed of yourself. How could you? You and Tega's husband having an affair? Oh. So that is the reason why you wanted her to divorce him, right? So you could have him to yourself. God, Jesus. What kind of Christianity are people practicing these days? I can't believe this. Oh my God. Chidera, just stand up. Stand up. You will go to Tega's office this minute and you will explain yourself to her. Apologize to her. And then you go for personal deliverance. Do you understand me? I will. Just, just go. You, you said what? I'm so sorry. I never ever thought it was going to happen. Jesus! Nigga! Nigga, I, 
I know I deserve that for me. You don't. Get out of this place right now. If you don't leave this place, I... Take out, please, I beg you. Get out. I beg you in God's name. I saw you was the devil. I never ever saw you was going to be... Get out! Sorry. Sister Tega, what's going on here? What? Who, who just left? It's, 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 it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Pastor! Sister Tega! I'm, I'm sorry, yeah? I think I'll just see you guys some other time. Take a seat, okay? We'll, we'll talk about this later, alright? Bimbo, what's the You should be ashamed of yourself. And what's that supposed to mean? Everyone in church is talking about Pastor and Sister Tega. Bimbo! I practically warned you not to spread this malicious gossip. And no, you wouldn't listen. Is it a lie? Look, I only said what I saw, okay? And if you need to crucify anyone right now, it has to be Sister Tega. I mean, she's a married woman that left her home to go and live in another man's house. The pastor for that matter. Listen to yourself. Bimbo, um, you have no sense of decency. You can do anything to get what you want. That's crazy, you know? I mean, why destroy a fellow sister's reputation? <sighs> Bimbo, you claim to love pastor so much. So, why involve him in a scandal? Why? Look, I don't need your sermons, okay? I do not need you to preach to me. Just, you know what, just excuse me, okay? I'm going to look for someone else to get right with Bimbo. ashamed of myself. I mean, I can't believe I could be so blind. The Bible said, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. The Bible also said that if we confess our sins, that he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. God has forgiven you. Who am I? Who am I to hold back forgiveness? Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Gloria, stop on this crap. <laughs> stop on this crap. So, is the pastor around? Oof. He's, he's not coming today. <laughs> um, sorry to bug, but is it true you're living in this house now? So? So? No wonder you're really so evasive about where you're putting up. <laughs> this is that 
Are you sure it won't get him into any troubles? I hope so too. Because Stachidera is is a nice person with <laughs> the art of good. It, it, it would be unfair to get such a person into trouble. So how are you holding up? Well, that's how it has been on my program, Sweet Breath from Heaven. But I wouldn't like to leave you without leaving with this reminder. The most difficult thing in this life is to forgive someone who has wronged you. As human beings, we're all programmed to seek revenge every time we're wronged. An eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. But God says otherwise. Turn the other cheek. And why is that? Because he gave his only begotten son to die for you and for me. If someone has wronged you, call him or her, your brother, your sister, your husband, or maybe even your wife. Forgive him or her. If you have wronged that person, leave your offering at the altar Go back to him or her and ask for forgiveness. And I tell you, your life will take a turn for the better. Take that chance. Owe that debt to everybody to love somebody and forgive. And peace, the peace of God, the joy, the spiritual high that pervades God's essence will come into your life. Test him and see that he is true. Until next week, my name is Pastor Ken of Sweet Breath of Heaven. In the meantime, please remain blessed and joyous in his presence. Goodbye. Jesus, your word declares that at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. Father, you say many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the good Lord delivers them from all. Deliver me, Father. I have betrayed you. So I was telling him about the dance trip and he said he's going to even use some of my girls. Just so I've lost Asha. What did you... Chidera? Chidera, why are you crying? <coughs> I miss my period. Is that why you're crying? I miss my period all the time now. In short, you know my mom... about to be a father. No, no, no. What if he doesn't want the baby? I mean, what am I going to do? 